am a leader of my Duke and I podcast and wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a marvelous day. And if you're seeing the show for the very first time and you like the show, please subscribe, like, and share and hit the notification bell so that when an episode comes out, you'll be the first to know. Well, <laughs> I cannot contain myself anymore. Guess what? Guess what? Look at this. I got my book yesterday evening. Oh, look at this. 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 Prince Harry Spear. Look at this. Isn't this lovely? Look at it. Look at Harry. So adorable. Always a military person. Oh my goodness. I am so happy, guys. I am so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Prince Harry Spear. Random house. Look, guys. Look. I hope you guys got your books, too. I don't want to be like... Oh, I have my book and you guys don't have yours. I hope you guys got yours. Okay? And i um, very excited. Every day when I'm going to work, because I take the train and the bus to go to work, I will be reading this. This is going to be my companion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it. Oh, it's everything. It is everything. It is everything. Thing you all it is everything oh my goodness so this book has been breaking records everywhere this book you guys they said they needed um, they needed one point something copies to be sold to break even but I'm telling you this book <laughs> has done more than breaking even. This is a bestseller. Now, the libraries cannot keep up with the demand for this book. Everybody wants to read this book. And let me just give you guys some of the data here. So, they said here, um, in the US, in the UK, and Canada, on its first day, right? This book, Prince Harry's book, Spare, sold 1.4 million copies. And that was on its first day. Now the numbers are in for the United States. And guess what? 1 million copies were sold on the first day. Bitten out Barack Obama's book. Can you believe that? Harry from across the pond, Meghan Markle's husband, has bid out Barack Obama's book for the number of sales on the first day. Let me do a drum roll. And mind you guys, I love Barack Obama. I love him. But Prince Harry's book sold one million copies. This book, everybody wants to get their hands on it. So what is interesting here is that the British press, they really tried it. They tried to spoil it for everybody, but it didn't work. Even me, I was in the dumpster. I was like so bummed out about the fact that they were putting out all of these salacious headlines about Prince Harry's book. Sorry guys, my alarm is going off. It's seven o'clock. I gotta go turn it off. Give me one second. <laughs> oh my goodness. This alarm, stop. I'm talking about Prince Harry. Stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm back. <laughs> So, as I was saying, that Prince Harry's book beat out Barack Obama's book as the fastest-selling book 
in one day. This book, guys, is going to be, I'm telling you, it's going to break records. It's going to be, and that's my prediction, it's going to be the best-selling book from anybody from the royal family. The best-selling book that anybody ever wrote about a member of the royal family. And guess what? It's Prince Harry. It's not those people over there in the UK that try to disrupt people's um, desire to read this book like myself. Because when I saw all these headlines, as I was uh, saying earlier, I was so bummed out. I felt so disappointed that they spoiled it for me. But guess what? That made people want it even more right that made people want it even more and i am so happy this book for the next couple of days is going in my bag and i'll be reading it i'll be literally advertising as i go to work every day because this is going to be front and center everybody's going to be probably looking at me and i guarantee you new yorkers they're curious there's somebody is going to ask me, what am I reading? And I'm going to say, oh, it's Prince Harry's memoir. Haven't you heard? Go get yourself a copy. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy. My book is here. It is here. <laughs> I am so happy. And let me tell you something. The libraries, they cannot keep up with the demand for this book. I saw a photo on Twitter where a library in England, the staff took an image of all the members of the royal family, put it up to their faces, <laughs> and then they had the book in their hand. You know what that tells me? Every one of them in England right now in that royal family is reading this book. As much as they say they didn't want to read it, I know they're all reading it right now. I'm telling you, oh, my day has been made. I've been smiling ear to ear since yesterday evening when I got this book. I didn't even wait. I wanted to do a reveal, but I couldn't even wait. <laughs> I just opened this uh, the box right away because I was so excited. So excited. Oh, Harry. Harry the Great, Diana's good son. Could you believe that? Breaking records all over the place. Number one bestseller. Number one bestseller. And you know, context, as they said, is everything. Context is everything. You know, the thing about it is that I saw Harry on Stephen Colbert's late, um, late night show. And the way Harry speaks and... And that has been consistent in all of his interviews that he has given. He is really putting context in the salacious headlines that we saw coming out of the UK press. And the book makes sense. Because you cannot just read a line and get the gist of what that line is saying. You have to, you know, you have to see what preceded that um, headline and you have to see what came after that headline and I'm so looking forward to reading this book for the next couple of days I wish you know something just thought of it I wish we can do a book club okay so I don't want to spoil this for anybody I really don't want to spoil this for everybody so what I'm gonna do is that okay here's the thing so what I could do is after every chapter I will come on and I will talk about that chapter. How about that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, okay? So after every chapter, I'll come on and I will just do a little, you know, synopsis of the chapter with you guys. Oh, gosh. I hope you guys, I don't want to rub it into anybody. <laughs> but sorry. <laughs> I am not nice. That was not nice. That was not nice. I don't want to rub it in. You know, but I hope you guys got your book out there. And, um, you know, <laughs> so happy, so happy my book is here. Prince Harry, 
spear look at him look at him look at him <laughs> so happy guys so happy uh, look at the back look at little baby harry here isn't he handsome always wanted to be in the military the military is what made harry who he is today and that's the reason why he put this image at the back of the book so this is him as a young person he grew up and this is the man that he has become today isn't it lovely anyways guys i don't want to waste your time i know you have a lot of things to do but let me know what you guys think about maybe reading a chapter and then um you know doing a little review on it you know and um let me know what you guys think i'm very happy gotta go to work my alarm came on already <laughs> gotta catch that bus because that bus travels once every hour and if i miss it then i'm in a lot of trouble okay bye take care <laughs> bye bye <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness bye guys bye <laughs> oh this book is breaking record oh i forgot to talk about stephen Colbert's and everything that happened with the skit that harry did with um, Tom Hanks and I'm telling you guys Harry is so well received in the United States the UK press would like us to believe that America is turning on Harry but it is absolutely the opposite modern they they they, they um, villainize Harry is the more people love him and that sketch was so beautiful Harry now um, was coming and he was walking in and they had people with trumpets and everything blowing their heart, you know, and Harry's coming in. And he thought all of that was for him, but mm -mm, that wasn't for him because <laughs> he's telling Stephen Cooper, you didn't have to do it. And then the great Tom Hanks walks in and um, it's like that was for Tom Hanks. You know, that was really cute. <laughs> that was really cute. But anyways, bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.